This is an ABC 10 News update. Hello there, I'm Virginia Cha with this ABC 10 News update. Today is the deadline for Republic Services to come to an agreement with a union representing the sanitation workers on strike. San Diego Mayor Todd Gloria says if no agreement is reached by today, Republic Services could face fines for not meeting its obligations. Trash bins in neighborhoods around San Diego had been filling up and overflowing over the past month during the strike. Republic Services says the union has not come up with a realistic offer for this market. San Diego State now requiring booster shots for residential students and athletes. The university sent out an email to students, faculty and staff announcing the new mandate. The new policy goes into effect tomorrow. SDSU says anyone who does not comply will be required to have a negative COVID test on file every seven days. The school is citing the California Department of Public Health's recent change requiring proof of vaccination for indoor events with 500 people or more. Today is Martin Luther King Jr. Day, this national holiday, of course, in observance of the birthday of the civil rights leader. In 1963, he led a peaceful march on Washington where he delivered his iconic I Have a Dream speech. The next year, Dr. King won the Nobel Peace Prize. He led the civil rights movement until he was assassinated in 1968. Today, government agencies, banks and some retailers will be closed in his honor. Time to check in with Vanessa Paz because we definitely are seeing some changes with the forecast today compared to yesterday. Oh yeah, we're going to be a lot cooler as far as the afternoon highs go, but as far as the highs we're going to reach in the mid to upper 60s, those are seasonal, so it's used to what we're seeing for this time of the year. Let's go ahead and show you the satellite and radar composite because in addition to the cooler conditions, we're looking at light rain sh uh, shower activity as we take a look ahead to the afternoon hour. So let's go ahead and show case the satellite and radar where it shows that things are pretty dry, just mainly cloudy to start off off your Monday, but by the afternoon again, very light showers from the coastline to the inland valleys. Today's highs in the mid to upper 60s, low 50s in the mountain areas and close to 80 degrees in the deserts. We'll stay in this cooling trend for the next few days, but high pressure does rebound looking ahead to Thursday and Friday. That's when temperatures spike back up to the 70s, making us above average as far as temperatures go, and that will be the trend into the weekend. Virginia. Thank you, Vanessa. For the latest news, weather and traffic, just go to 10news.com or you can download our free app from your app store. For ABC 10 News, I'm Virginia Chaw.